Hello students, how are you all? Hope that you all are fine as well as healthy. We are learning biology, chapter number one, and the title of chapter number one is Green Bird. So, in last video lecture, we have completed about the most important question of chapter number one, and the title of question is what? And the title of question is the rules for the given scientific name or the rules for giving the nomenclature of particular living organisms. So, first of all, we are going to devise the last question at a glance. You know that the so many different type of living organisms are present in our planet, which is known as Earth. Okay. So, if we talk about the all organisms, so all people of the different regions are calling these organisms with the help of their local names. It means local names of these organisms are used. Okay. So, it will create problem during the process of the conversation. Okay. So, in different type of conversation, local names are creating problem. So, all biologists and scientists thought that one universal and one unique and one perfect or the one scientific name of each and every living organism is required. Okay. So, scientists decide the two different type of institutes. First one is ICBN and second one is ICZA. Okay. Two different type of institutes are there ICBN. What is the full form of ICBN? International Board for Botanical Nomenclature. Okay, I am writing this here. ICBN International Board for Botanical Nomenclature and second organization is ICZA. International Board for Zoological Nomenclature. Okay, so ICBN means International Board for Botanical nomenclature is connected with the rules and regulation and criteria, okay, connected with the plants while ICZA, International Court of Zoological Nomenclature is connected or created the rules, regulation as well as the criteria connected with the animals, okay. So, ICBN connected with plants and ICZA connected with the animals, okay. So, you know that the different type of scientists to give different type of method, methods from the process of nomenclature or giving the scientific name of particular organism. But, you know that the binomial nomenclature system, okay. You can say that this system, we can say that by Nomial, by nomial, nomenclature, by nomial, nomenclature system was accepted. Okay, so by nomial, nomenclature system was accepted by the all different type of scientists, and this by nomial nomenclature system was given by Carl Linnaeus. Okay, or Carolus Linnaeus. So you will remember the name. Carl Linnaeus or Carolus Linnaeus. According to binomial nomenclature system, the scientific name of any living organism. According to binomial nomenclature system, the scientific name of any living organism is made up of is made up of two different type of name. The first name is of the genus, means the name of genera, and second name is of the species. Okay. For example, Mangifera indica. Okay. If we talk about the example, we are writing the scientific name of mango. We are writing the scientific name of mango. Okay. So the scientific name of mango will be Mangifera. Okay. Mangifera indica. Mangifera indica. Okay, so you know that the Mangifera is one type of genus, while indica is one type of species. And you know the rules if you are writing the scientific name, then underline is must. Okay, or if you are typing the scientific name, then italic format is, is must. Okay, and the first letter of the name of genus must be capital, remaining all of genus and full of species will be smaller in size. Okay. Sometimes you know that the, after the name of species, sometimes the name of subspecies will be added. For example, Homo sapiens sapiens is the scientific name of modern, modern human. Homo is one type of genus. First sapien is one type of species and second, second sapien is one type of subspecies. 
Sometimes the famous name will be written in bracket and sometimes at the end the name of scientist is written shortly. Okay. So these all are the rules for the scientific name and it is very important question I am saying again okay, it will be 100% definitely asked in examination. Okay. Today we are going to learn about the some reasons or some history of the classification as well as the initiation process of the modern classification okay so remember today's question will not be asked in exam directly but some information or some mcq or some vernacular questions will be asked from today's question because today's question is 100 percent theory based question okay there is no concept in today's question so we can say that first point first point we can say that for for living organisms for different type of living organisms scientific name is there okay we can say that scientific name is there and you know that the nomenclature the process of what the process of nomenclature the process of nomenclature is possible the process of nomenclature is possible with the help of binomial nomenclature system okay it is true but some exceptions are there point number two but but if nomenclature you can say that if nomenclature is not if nomenclature is not possible if nomenclature is not possible for some organisms so we are talking about the some organisms in which nomenclature is not possible okay then we can then we can put this all this all organisms into into primary group okay into a primary group and this wall process and this wall process is known as classification okay this wall process is known as the process of classification so see what is important word important word is about the primary group okay now we will understand the first sentence See, you know, for the second sentence, first sentence, you know that the scientific name means nomenclature is possible for the all living organisms. But some exceptions are there. If you have some type of animal which having similar appearance or similar morphological characters to the words, okay, and nomenclature is not possible for now, then you can sell, then you can divide or you can put this, you can arrange this organism into the category of words, okay. Or if you are if you are finding a new creature, a new creature similar to fish, a similar to fish, then you can arrange a new organism or the new creature into the category of the fishes. Okay. So we can say that if nomenclature is not possible for initial level, then we can put this all organism into what into primary group. See primary group what is important. Okay. And this process is known as what? This process is known as process of classification. Point number two, if we write the definition of classification, see it is very important. If we write the definition of classification or if we write the definition of biological classification. See, so many types of classifications are there. You are also learning classification in physics as well as chemistry as well as in different type of subjects. Okay. But we are talking about the biological classification. Means classification used, okay, used for the arrangement of different type of organisms. So what is the meaning of classification? We can say that it is one type of it is one type of classification is one type of scientific method. Okay, what is classification? It is one type of scientific method in which in which living organisms in which living organisms are arranged in which living organisms are arranged 
or placed or placed into same into same or into same or different pixel into same or different pixel so according to what according to according to characters according to their characters and similarities and dissimilarities found in particular characters so it is the definition of classification in homework you will write five times this definition and this definition will be also helpful in chapter number four okay animal kingdom the classification of animals again what is the definition of classification or the definition of biological classification it is one type of scientific method see first point it is one type of scientific method second point in which living organisms are arranged or placed into same or different texture point number three according to their characters or according to similarities and these similarities found in their particular characters okay so it is the definition of classification again i am repeating this classification or the biological classification is one type of scientific method in which living organisms are arranged or placed into same or different texture according to their characters so we can say that point number three we can say that classification is 100 percent based upon characters okay classification is 100 percent based upon characters so characters this word is very much important without characters classification is not possible okay without characters classification is not possible and point number four we can say that classification means a it provides it provides one type of it provides one type of facility it provides one type of facility for for arrangement for arrangement of different types of organisms for arrangement of different types of organisms according to what we can say that according to their Okay, according to what? According to their character. See, the first four points are completed. Again, we are going to revise the first four points. See, point number one, we can say that for organisms, scientific name is possible and scientific name will be given with the help of process which is known as nomenclature. But in different type of organisms or rarely in some organisms, if nomenclature is not possible, then we can put this creature or this organism into primary group and this process is known as what this process is known as the process of classification okay so what is the meaning or definition of classification it is one type of scientific method in which living organisms are arranged or placed into same or different taxa according to their similarities and dissimilarities of their particular characters and classification is 100% based on character, one line of MCQ, one line of question, okay, important question based upon characters and which will provide the one type of facility for the different type of arrangements of the different type of organisms, but depend upon what, according to what, according to their particular characters, okay. So, if we talk about the point number five, for classification, different type of taxa, okay. What is the meaning of TEXA? TEXA, it is one type of category. TEXA is what it is, one type of category. So, it is one type of categories. Okay. So, if we are talking about the categories, for example, you all are the students of the standard 11. Okay. So, standard 11 is one type of TEXA for student. Oh, okay, for example, if in a one school, in a particular school, there are 1000, 1000 students, okay, some, some include, some are including in standard 1, some of 100 second, some of 3rd, some of 4th, okay, so these all standards are what, these all standards are one type of TEXA, so TEXA is what, TEXA is one type of 
category. You remember it, hexamines for hexamines one type of category. Like say group is one type of hexa, division is one type of hexa. For example, you have different type of pens and you are you are grouping the pens according to their color. For example, it is a red color pen, so you will put in in the hexa of red color, it is the bluish pen, you will put this pen into the blue color hexa. So this hexa is what one type of category. Okay, hexa of blue pen, hexa of red pen, hexa of black pen. It is one type of category. But but for hexa, character is important. Okay, without characters, hexa is not possible. Okay, see color is character. So for this classification of pen, color is necessary, color is must. Without color, classification of pen is not possible as similar as we can say that from the classification of organisms, character is required. Okay, without character, classification of humans are not possible. Okay, point number six. If we talk about some examples, point number six, if we talk about some examples, see I am writing here some words. First one is if we talk about the plants, second one if we talk about the animals, third one if we talk about the insects, plants, animal, insect, and if we talk about the different type of dogs and different type of cats. So see, we have total five names and now we are going to understand this word. See the first word. First word is one type of plant. Okay. So if I am saying the plants, then some characters are there. Like they are autotropic according to mode of nutrition. Means are able to do process of photosynthesis, are able to prepare their food by themselves. Okay, are able to take CO2 and will release the will release oxygen during the process of photosynthesis. Are not able to do locomotion as well as movement. Locomotion and movement is not found in plants. Okay, cell wall presence of what presence of cell wall which is made up of cellulose. So see these all are what these all are characters and the organism or the creature. So in this type of characters belong to the plants. What about animals? You know that the animals according to mode of nutrition they are not autotrophic. Animals are heterotrophic according to mode of nutrition means dependent upon other organisms, okay, dependent upon plants or other organisms upon food. And you know that some animals are herbivorous, some are carnivorous, some are frugivorous, some are semi-humorous. You know what are the meaning of all this? If organism or if animal depends upon the vegetables, it is known as vegetarian. Okay, it is known as vegetarian. If animal depends upon egg, egg eating animals are known as vegetarian. First one is vegetarian, second one is vegetarian. If animals depend upon the blood or the muscles of other animals, okay, it is known as carnivorous. Third one is carnivorous. Fourth one is what? Fourth one is omnivorous. Vegetables plus other blood as well as mass. Okay, it, mass means muscles. It is known as omnivorous. If animals depend upon the fruit, it, fruits, it is known as frugivorous. If animal is blood sucker, for example, leech, okay, Indian cattle leech, the scientific name is Eutnaria granulosa. Leech is one type of blood sucker animal. It is known as the sanguivorous type of animal. So different type of animals are there. Same will be for insect, dog, and cat. Okay, insect is one. Insect is one type of class. Remember, insect is the largest class of this world. You know, different type of phylums are there. Protozoa, Polyphena, Sibelmenta, Platelminthus, Escalminthus, Enelida, Arthropoda, Mollusca, Echandermita, Hemipodeta, and Podeta. So, from this world, Arthropoda is known as the largest phylum of this world. In Arthropoda, phylum having different six type of classes like Arachnida, Diplopoda, Chilopoda, Okay, Crustacea, Polygoch, oh, sorry, Crustacea, last one is Insecta. Okay, Insecta is the largest class. Okay, so different type of examples, different type of category having different type of characters. So, character is main thing. Point number seven, if we are going to think, if we are going to think about dog and some Alsatian. Okay, what is the meaning of Alsatian? In your book, there is a word word which is known as Alsatian. Alsatian is one type of mammal. You know the guard dog like German Shepherd is one type of Alsatian. So if you are thinking about dog and Alsatian, then you will think this all are what? This all are mammals and this all mammals having a specific or special type of characters. Like we can say that first one is what? First one is 
presence of presence of external ear okay presence of external ear external ear which is known as pinna external ear which is known as pinna and presence of hair on the outer body surface as exoskeleton so if we think about the dog and some other type of mammals then you will realize some characters like presence of external ear you see it is on it is the outer layer it is known as external layer actually there are many three types of ear internal ear middle ear and external ear external ear is known as pinna okay it is not well developed in humans but you know that in wolf family it is very much well developed it is known as pinna and presence of hair okay you know that the upper skin is covered by hair hair is what hair is one type of exoskeleton what which type of skeleton it is one type of exoskeleton remember there are many two types of skeleton first one is endoskeleton means internal structure second one is exoskeleton means outer structure okay as exoskeleton mammals have what mammals have hair okay you know that the as exoskeleton fish is having what scales are there in birds feathers are there as exoskeleton by the case of mammal hairs are present as exoskeleton so it is some basic information about what about the history of classification and you know the for classification character is required okay now if we talk about the next concept in next concept we can say that in the system of classification in the system of classification or we can say that classification is based upon classification is based upon different type of things like first one is first one is what first one is we can say that the cell structure first one is the cell structure the structure of cell the second one is internal and external internal and external body structure second one is internal and external body structure third one we can say that development process third one we can say that the process of development development process and fourth one we can say that ecological connection or ecological status okay so classification of any living organism is based upon the main four criteria okay so you will remember there are main four criteria are there how many four this four are very important you will remember this all four okay in mcq it is it will be asked so first one is about what first one is about the cell structure you know that there are different type of cells three type of cells are there eukaryotic prokaryotic and eukaryotic in greek language a means absent or or not in greek language pro means primitive in greek language you means well developed okay virus belongs to eukaryotic cell all types of bacteria and cyanobacteria and lubrin algae belongs to prokaryotic cell and all types of animal and plant cells either prokaryotic or eukaryotic sorry either unicellular or multicellular belongs to the eukaryotic cell so if you you are finding or you if you got if you get the new creature having prokaryotic cell then definitely it will be bacteria okay second one is internal and external body structure okay some morphological characters are there some anatomical characters are there process of development see we are not talking about the embryonic development we are talking about the development for example you know the mosquito okay so female mosquito will lay egg during the season of monsoon okay and from eggs larva will be formed from eggs larva will be formed from larva pupa and from pupa adult will be formed so different type of four stages are there it is one type of indirect type of development eggs produce larva from larva pupa from pupa adult okay if we talk about the larva stage see adult of mosquito adult of mosquito is able to fly yes it is possible but the larva of mosquito is aquatic it is not able to fly fly but it is able to live inside the water so it is only it is one type of development and what about the ecological status means 
we can say that the habitat of particular organism either living in desert or sea or ocean or the fresh water okay so this all four criteria so classification is based upon this four four criteria first point is completed second point second point we can say that in second point in the process of in the process in the whole process so things are included like classification is included then nomen then nomenclature is included classification nomenclature then we can say that identification of characters is, is included and last one is only identification so these are the different type of processes okay after completing or after finishing this all processes the complete classification of any living organism will be there okay so point number 2 is completed if we talk about the point number 3 okay if we talk about the modern classification if we talk about the modern classification so we can say that all different type of criteria all different type of criteria like this one for and this all will be included in the modern type of classification so concept number 2 is also completed now if we talk about the last concept concept number 3 first point we can say that if we talk about the humans see humans humans the classification humans the classification from initial level okay from which level from the initial level see humans humans did classification means humans were humans were doing what humans were doing classification okay from initial level means from starting from starting from starting to the evolution of humans we all are we all were sorry we all were doing what we all were doing the classification but but according to what we can say that according to what according to our need okay according to our need see for living organisms we are doing classification according to their characters but at initial level means from starting humans were doing classification according to their need okay you know the three needs are there roti kapda aur makan okay total three needs are there for humans so we can say that from according to need and classification are like according to their food <coughs> according to clothes according to food according to clothes and according to shelter shelter means one type of habitat so for food for clothes and for shelter classification different type of classifications were done okay for the humans okay so you will remember this human human did classification from the initial time according to their need like food clothes as well as shelter okay now point number 2 we can say that to study of classification to study of classification to study of classification is known as taxonomy okay so now we have the new word what is the meaning of study of classification okay which is known as taxonomy so now we have the new word which is known as taxonomy important mcq what is the meaning of taxonomy taxonomy is one type of science which deals with study of classification and remember if we talk about the father of taxonomy point number 3 if we talk about the father of taxonomy then father of taxonomy will be same carolus linnaeus okay you will remember carolus linnaeus or the carl linnaeus is known as the father of or father of taxonomy okay now point number 4 we have the one new word which is known as systematics okay what is the meaning of systematics see systematics is one type of is one type of science okay systematics is one type of science in which in in which well organized study of organism will be there okay systematics means with the help of some system 
Okay. So what is about systematics? We can say that systematics, this word systematics is derived, is derived from Latin word, from Latin word which is known as systema. Okay. And what is the meaning of systema? Systema means we can say that proper arrangement. Proper arrangement of organism is known as the systema. So two new words are there. First one is taxonomy. Second one is about the systematics. And again point number five. We can say that if we talk about the same scientist, it is known as Carolus Linnaeus. Carolus Linnaeus published one book which is known as Systema Nature. Systema Nature. Okay, you will remember this publication. It is not a true book, it is one type of publication. Okay, it is one type of publication which is known as Systema Nature. And in Systema Nature, all things, all things like nomenclature, identification, characterization, classification, all things were included in the Systema Nature. And you will remember the last point, point number six, in the process of classification. In the process of classification, some some processes connected with the evolution is also included. Means some different type of processes which are connected with evolution are also included in the process of classification. So it is a one type of difficult question, but it will be not asked directly in exam. But some important MCQs and some important one-liner questions are there. Again, we are going to revise this whole question. See here, for organism, scientific names are there. Nomenclature is not possible. Primary group, okay, we put in the primary group. Classification, definition of classification is there. Then character is required. Without character, classification is not possible. Different type of organism. What about the taxa? Taxa is one type of category. Four different type of criteria for the classification and the wall process will be like this. In modern classification, wall processes and wall criteria are included. Okay, what about the humans? Humans need classification according to the basic needs like food, clothes as well as shelter. Okay, study of classification, taxonomy, father of taxonomy, Carolus Linnaeus, broad one. One book which is known as Systema Nature. Okay, what about the systematic? The word systematic is derived from a Latin word which is known as Systema. This all are the one liner questions. Okay, see, Systema, Systematics, Taxonomy, Carolus Linnaeus, Systema Nature. Okay, and in classification, some processes which are connected with evolution are also included. Okay, so today's question is 100% completed. Thank you very much.